But now, please welcome your host, Paul Chowdhury. Welcome to Stand Up For The Week. What's happening, white people? Let's start off with quite a light news story. Um, allegedly, three women were held for 30 years captive in a house in Lambeth. I mean, the worst thing about being a slave in Lambeth is when you're finally released, you realise you're in Lambeth. You are free. Uh, no, no, I think I'll stay for a couple more minutes. <laughs> Apparently, there's 5,000 slaves in the UK, and I can't find a cleaner. <laughs> the three women were Malaysian, English, and Irish. Sounds like a pub joke gone wrong. <laughs> an English woman, an Irish woman, and a Malaysian go into a house, and they stay there for 30 years. Sounds like a bad knock-knock joke. Knock-knock, <laughs> who's there? Shh, call the police. <laughs> Shh, call the police, who? <laughs> Shh, call the police now, you bastard. I've been here for 30 years. <laughs> Let's put this into perspective. They went to this house 30 years ago when there was a Tory government a recession, mass unemployment, and Bruce Forsyth was on TV. <laughs> nice to see you to see you now. I was gonna do a couple of lines about Nigella Lawson. <laughs> but she beat me to it. Don't know if you've heard about this. Someone drove a VW Golf into someone's flat in Dudley. <laughs> Look at the state of that. When that car smashed to the wall, they must have thought they were watching Fast and Furious 6 in 3D. <laughs> These 3D glasses are wicked, mate. Special effects in everything. That flat actually belonged to a guy called Mama Du Diallo. It's a Nigerian name. He's lucky he wasn't a traffic warden. You come back here. That's my chair. That's my sofa. I must ring the office. I'm not supposed to be walking from home to death. The owner of the house actually went to check the rubble to see if he was okay, right? And he went into the rubble and found a false leg. It's ridiculous, isn't it? That's the problem with disabled drivers. They think they can park anywhere. <laughs> see, the, but the thing is about this story, right? The story doesn't tell us who was driving that car. I just hope she's okay. Anyone from Essex? Yeah. Do you hear about this story this week? A wolf escaped from a zoo in Essex. I thought Essex only had cougars, the occasional fox, <laughs> and a couple of heifers. <laughs> Here's the wolf. Aww. Don't ah. <laughs> this ain't Twilight, love. <laughs> uh, you don't stroke it and kiss it. Ah, you don't stroke it and kiss it and it turns into a camp looking straight man. It'll bite your face off. Ah, it's so Twilight, isn't he? No, he's a killer. <laughs> Essex people were told to look out for a creature with massive teeth. Someone tried to shoot this animal. Good <laughs> snap of Lassie pumping someone's leg. <laughs> Give a shit, I'm only in this for the legs. 
Optimus Prime transforming into a vibrator. Mm -mm. 